Hi everybody. Oh, it's you guys. Uh, you know, this is a video from Willie's Guitars. I'm Willie. Nice to meet you. Hello everybody. You back there too. Um, <clears throat> the pre-CBS Strat has been one of the mainstays of the collectible guitar world uh, forever. Since even like 66, 67, the changes they made uh, the changes that were made by CBS, the corporation, when they bought Fender, were noted even in the late 60s. They're like, wait, you know, the, we like the little headstock. We like the fact that it had lacquer. So the pre-CBS Strat has been kind of the marker uh, of all vintage guitars. It, it is a, um, uh, a bellwether, if you will, uh, for the vintage guitar market. And they've gone up quite a bit over COVID, but they've always gone up. There are times when the Strat in value will stable out, be stabilized for a couple of years, but then they tend to go up. So the, the chart for the Stratocaster will be jagged, just like any investment you can think of. Um, and I'm going to say this really quick. This is the Stratocaster book by Duchossoir, and that's D-U-C-H-O-S-S. -S. Douche Schwar, the Stratocaster book, you can still find this, but it's out of print. Buy one. If you're serious about collecting guitars, Douche Schwar, any of his guitar identification books are the standard. Uh, some people write books in like London, there's British books, and they don't come from here. They didn't really get it, but he's really done his homework. Rarely does somebody get into the detail that he does. Um, so, I have two pre-CBS strats here, and this, I'm running through this Magnetone, and yes, I do have a really clean Princeton amp that I'll probably play uh, yet before we're done. Um, but, this is a 1963 strat, and pre-CBS in 64. They started making some changes before CBS bought them. They started going to a white pickguard and pearl dots, even in 64. So you can find a late 64 that has what's considered post-CBS features. CBS bought them in January of 65, and they didn't blow a whistle and change everything all at once. These changes were put in gradually as the factory uh, change their, the way they built stuff to try to speed up the build of the guitar. on YouTube or whatever of how the modern guitar factories are they're all made in replicating lathes and that's going to get more and more uh, clone-ish where the one is identical to the other but we're going to show you a video on this video there's a link above me that'll show you a YouTube video from January of 1959 of them working on Fender necks and doing it all by hand they did all this tummy cut by hand they did this arm cut by hand. So somebody was in charge of cutting out the, the wood. The wood was all cured and aged and the, the wood is hard to find like that. Older trees aged correctly, aged not in a kiln uh, as much as air dried and then kiln dried. But Brazilian rosewood boards, there's a lot of reasons why you'd buy a pre-CBS Strat and old wood and its tone is one of them. This 63 is unusual because this is an original guard. Yes, this is an original guard. I'm telling you, I'm Willie with 45 years of experience. I've brought this by a couple of other dealers that I know that have experience. It's definitely an original guard. The original three-way, the original 
potentiometers, this pickup needed to be rewound, and <clears throat> that's a new logo. Now, logos fall off, and that might sound crazy, but they are decals. And I've had several guitars where the logo has flaked off or come off, and I've had several guitars where the original owner has told me that within the first couple of years of owning his pre Sibia Strat, that the logo came off. Yes, it happened. Um, just yesterday, we had a gentleman in here from Canada, and he had a guitar, and the logo was almost completely gone. He had sprayed lacquer over it. Now, I also, this just came in. This is a 1962 Strat, and a little bit cleaner than our 63. It does have a crack in the guard. It does also have a bridge pickup rewound. Um, not sure who rewound that, but this was rewound by one of the elder statesmen of rewinding pickups. That's Lindy Fralin. He's been doing it for us since we opened in 1989. So Lindy really understands the type of wire and how to wire an old strap. <laughs> Bridge pickup. And now neck pickup. That neck pickup on strats is so cool. Notice though, when you have the neck pickup on, it's harder to get that harmonic. Middle pickup, easy. But when you put the neck pickup on, it chokes out that because of the way uh, those, it's like waves on the, on the ocean, they hit each other and they phase cancel each, out, each other out. This guitar has its original three-way pickup. This guitar um, has all the original saddles. This came from the original owner. I've got a couple of custom shop stuff thing, uh, guitars here, and they do sound great. They're, they're a wonderful guitar in that 35 to 65 zone, but there's nothing like the sound of a Strat, and you get a chance to play them side by side. You can feel it. You can almost taste the tone uh, of these older guitars. This one has a really nice color. Green Guard, Clay Dot, 1962. It is not a slab board. It is a laminate board that they did later in the year. So I just wanted to show you um, these two guitars. And we got in this nearly mint Princeton reverb. So I'm going to play this amplifier cranked up, and that's going to flood that microphone. And we are going to say goodbye now. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, subscribe, will you? And like us on Facebook. And uh, here is just a quick video on pre CBS strats. And this is a 1961 all original Princeton amplifier. I'm turning it up to about eight. I'm turning the tone up to about seven. I'm turning off the tremolo. Nice to see you. Thanks for the time. I'll see you next time.